Hey guys, thank you for checking out a new vlog. Before we get the vlog started, I have to tell you about a few Black Friday deals and also just say happy Thanksgiving. Uh, so first off, Get Hushin, we're gonna have some deals and steals at gethushin.com, which is all the branded lifestyle gear. Uh, Rack Snacks, my antler dog chew business. I'm actually gonna go sand and make some more inventory for the, um, for the dog chew, so racksnacks.com. All of these links are in the description box. Let's see, all in, 25% off when you use code ERIC. That's a digiscoping setup I use to film all these videos you're about to watch. First Light has a huge sale. Mountain Ops has a huge sale. Make sure when you shop Mountain Ops, it is 50% off all of our Hush Signature Series Lemonade and free shipping with code HUSH and 30% off store wide. So make sure you enter code HUSH on Mountain Ops. Again, for all in, code ERIC. Get in on the steals and deals. More of the good stuff in the description box and enjoy the vlog. All right, guys, I got up here and got set up with the uh, old spotting scope. Glassing some really cool country up in this draw right here. And I just glassed, I think there's eight bulls total. Two of them are nice, like a really big six point and a really nice six by seven. Great bulls, but I think they'd be bulls I'm not shooting on opening day type of stuff. So gonna glass around, see what else I can turn up. But man, it's another cool snowy elk hunt for me pretty wild first year hunting elk in the snow and i've got two tags to do it with so uh cool country just gonna see if we can find some more bulls Well, had to bail off that little lookout because the fog rolled in or the snow rolled in and uh, visibility was down. So back to the truck before it's too dark. But this winter wonderland is unreal. I cannot believe getting this amount of snow right before the storm. It's going to help us find some big bulls. They stick out like a sore thumb and the bulls are just going to be wanting to feed on this hunt. So. Uh, anyways, welcome to a new vlog. Hope you guys enjoyed seeing some of the bigger bulls. I told you on the last vlog I'd show you some, and I just hadn't really found any yet. So uh, we'll pack this thing around like always. Get some video throughout the week for you. Hope you guys are having a good day, and for those of you who still have a tag, I uh, hope you're having some good hunts. This is going to be possibly my best elk hunt or favorite elk hunt of the season. Definitely has potential to uh, produce the biggest bull of the year. So. I'll keep you guys posted on the vlog. Top one's the biggest. That's the bottom one. Right now they don't look like that, but maybe. Just the angle. The bigger one looks longer and spread out, huh? seen a bunch of bulls this morning and some bigger bulls really cool six by eight 
and a mega mega five by five. He's got it all except this. But unfortunately he got a horse just rode right through him. So they bounced out. Now we're trying to get up high again to uh, see if we can see them or some other elk. So beautiful day, Friday the day before the hunt. Freaking piss, dude. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I think, yeah, he's in eight on that right. Oh, he does. Dude, I'm getting some. Whoa, 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 whoa. He's got two. Oh, that is the right side. Of my hand. I got two. The right's got the two. This should be like a straight on. Like this, right? Yeah, That's cool how he's using his antler to scratch his back, huh? day two guys and as usual I'm just finding like the dumbest places to go it's big north slope tons of snow you can see and uh, I'm dragging everybody up here with me uh, Kate and my cousin Corey and Matt are just a little bit below us they told us to go glass we got Braden there's just so much country to glass up here but man check it out it's freaking crazy He's not hit, from what I can tell. No, he's just walking. Guy's extra on the left. I just walked to the tree. Well, update. It's been a few days since I uh, pulled the camera out to get a vlog. Um, I'm headed home from my Utah elk hunt. Let me tell you what, place was cold. You guys saw some of the footage earlier. Um, it snowed, saw a ton of bulls. Tagged out on an ice bowl. I'm just getting home, but uh, wanted to guys wanted to update you guys. I did get one. 
Who's here? Who's here? <gasps> Who's that? Jay. Who's that, Jay Poopy? <gasps> it's Tori. <gasps> Tori's here. Oh. And Scarlett. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Be easy, Jade. Take oh. it easy. She oh, remembers you guys. Oh. Scarlett, she He's remembers so you. Jade's so excited. <laughs> Oh. Well, as you guys can tell, I'm off the mountain and home, which uh, usually means I must have shot an elk. So I did. We posted it over on Hush. For those of you who haven't seen it, this is my Utah bull. I'll give you guys a closer look um, here in a minute. I'm going to move it to the other shop, possibly. But uh, yeah, my buddy Tori's here and his daughter Scarlett, cutie. They've been saying hi to Jade. They were uh, dog sitting a few weeks ago, so came back to say hi to Jade. And pick up some elk meat, huh, Scarlett? Yeah, <laughs> Jade's curious about that elk, still trying to figure it out. A lot of people do ask, which I don't blame you guys, um, what do I do with all the meat? So every elk I get, I take to the butcher, process some of it myself, but lately take it to the butcher. <laughs> they do a lot better job and a lot faster. But I do have freezers full of meat. This is the third elk I've killed this year, which this elk I did all back straps, some hind steaks, and then the rest of it to be jerky. So I'm going to stock up on... Uh, elk jerky but of course um, when you kill three bulls you get a lot of meat um, and I like to give it away so here we go Tori's coming coming over to pick up some elk steaks the last time he killed an elk was a cow and that thing's long gone so lucky for friends and family they get pretty much whatever they want out of here so we're gonna fill Tori up and send him home so thank you for helping me and my freezer space yeah we'll <laughs> take the back straps <laughs> well dude you got it it's oh, sirloin okay. right here here you go <laughs> All right, guys, I said I would show you my bull, give you a better look. So I'm going to pull him out of the uh, garage because Hayden came here with his, his buddies, um, elk off the same mountain. This is also the duck. And uh, we saw this bull on our hunt. And man, I'll tell you what, he was beamy, lengthy, a little broke up. We stared at him for a while and um, just wanted to look for something different. But this, this bull is in some ways bigger than mine, heavier, longer beams. And he has some pretty dang good length on some points. So we're thinking, wonder what he scores. So we might throw a tape on him just for fun. Let me go snag my bull and uh, we'll put him side by side. So fun fact, Hayden reached out to me early on when he knew I had the tag because his buddy had the tag. So they had gone down um, more than me and did some scouting. They found some big bulls. And then uh, he sent me in to check out a bull that they had seen that was just way in there. We went and checked it out and it was also a giant bull. Some of the bulls I passed are bigger framed than the one I got, like longer beams, more width. Um, I do love the look of my bull, but yeah, in some ways, these other bulls, they're just bigger framed, more space between the points. And uh, when it comes to like the size of elk, score wise, what really helps them is their width and their main beams. I'd say mine definitely lacks on main beams, but he is decently wide. He's 39 and some change from tip to tip on the inside. Um, so anyways, yeah, Hayden, sent us in and then i was sending him some pins and showing him some of the bulls we were passing okay here you go show you some of the difference on these two bulls off the same mountain range totally different structure and build on these things you've got one with the fronts and the extra the other one with a very typical six point frame but longer beams heavier on the beams I wouldn't be surprised if they score somewhat dang close to each other, to be honest, but have a completely different look. But they're both cool. Couldn't go wrong, man. When that bull sat and stared at us, it was, it had the, that's a big bull look, you know, when that one was looking at us. And what's really cool is that back end. Look at the main beam on his. Mine just short main beams, man, compact. Both studs put a tape on this he's uh 357 and some change i thought he was going to be a little bigger from a distance i thought he would have more mass i didn't think his beams were as short i knew he was compact but he's really really tight so yeah it's pretty cool seeing these together yeah man sounds like you guys shot him not far from where we seen him he just came onto the south slope Okay, we tallied it up surprisingly like i thought these two bulls are within two or three inches of each other i got 357 and some change on mine and we got 359 and some change on that one if his right g2 
and G3 were the same. We didn't even add up the G4, which is busted, and that's definitely uh, missing a few inches too. So 360 plus if that thing wasn't busted. So yeah, pretty cool, man, seeing these two giants together. They weren't too far apart. A few canyons, big canyons, but again, same general area. I don't know if these are both resident um, Dutton elk or if they have migrated from other units, but anyhow, both are sweet bulls. So I thought you guys would enjoy that, man. I love big elk. Ah, so cool. Again. <laughs> Come here. Come here. Jane. She's so funny. One sec she'll be like having fun playing, and then the other she's like, I'm not sure if everything's okay. <laughs> we playing, huh? We playing? Get, get, come on. Jane, you weirdo. Come here. Come here. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> You're crazy. <laughs> oh, now you want to play, huh? Come on, Jay. Saturday yard work. So you get to come home to after the hunts when you procrastinate and don't do yard work. And I was waiting for the leaves to fall before I trimmed the apricot tree, and they still haven't really fallen. But after today, chopping his sticks up, they sure are. So, trip to the dump for us. Oh, yeah, guys, so back from this uh, last hunt, and I uh, just keep posted on five for five. That makes three out of four. We got one more hunt in Arizona, a late hunt. So I actually get myself a nice little break in between hunts. But you know how that goes. Sometimes you get a wild hare, and maybe you go find a whitetail tag or something. Texas, maybe. I can go hunt in the Wasatch Front with my bow for mule deer, which I should probably put a little effort into. Haven't done that in a long time. But yeah, it's yard work for me right now. Hopefully you guys are getting some nice sunny weather, even though it's cold. Um, it's a great day to be outside. So that's kind of it for me today. It's been this and catching up on dog chew orders, which by the way, racksnacks.com uh, is my antler dog chew business. And I think it's gonna pick up here. I'm gonna try to get some inventory done because I'm really low, but I know a lot of you have asked for uh, more inventory for the holidays. People love getting their puppies gifts. Little buttheads like this one put her on the hot tub <laughs> and she doesn't know how to get down.